My name is Luis Rawls. I have been a shoemaker all my life. I was born in Ecuador, in a small village of Zapateros. In those days, to graduate from high school, you must learn a trade. My skills were my passport, and with a job waiting for me, I immigrated to the United States in 1969. Back then, there were two or three shoemakers in every town, over a quarter of a million nationwide. Today, we are less of 7,000. I am the last American shoemaker in Roselle. One of the biggest challenges that my father's facing this year is that he's turning 66. Uh, he's at a crossroads uh, right now because he's at the need to keep working. I don't think money-wise, especially living in New Jersey, um, he's able to retire at this moment. I also think he's going to actually miss the routine of getting up in the morning. He's going to miss his friendships. It's over 40 years that he's been established here. It's definitely an excuse, but he's definitely at a crossroads of, is it the right time to retire? Today, we have a difficult time, okay? But we're surviving. My biggest challenge is uh, retirement because the routine that, is, that, that I established through the years with my customers is going to be very difficult to just drop. I have to do little by little bit. And uh, I, I'm going to miss them a lot because so everyone was part of my life. Yeah, I've been coming in here with my parents since I was what, five, six? Yeah, you were in grammar school, right? Yep. Yeah, that's the reason because we actually getting, we disappearing, you know? Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. You are. So who are you handing this down to? Because I got to have someone reliable to go to. Yeah. You're the only one around here, you're right. The relationship that my father has with his clients, he has a, a following passed down from generations. His clients come in um, at a young age and they have bring in their five-year-old. Well, their five-year-old now grows up and has their children. So it, it, in one shot, he easily, easily sees three generations, three generations that come to see him. So it creates an, a priceless bond. You have like a snap or something? I'm missing. A ribbit? Yeah, uh, some type of snap I'm missing there. Yeah. Can you can help me with that one? Yeah, I can do this for you. Please, it's mm -hmm. your favorite one. You, you can't buy that type of publicity. In every city there's a shoemaker. Shoemaker in Elizabeth, Roselle, Rose Park. It's a dying trade, dying field, a dying professional, I should say. Things are so mass produced and ready produced and, and you know, shoes are so cheap and, and instead of repairing them, you just go and replace them. You know, it's it's before you used to, you know, try to salvage stuff and repair it. And you know, good you have a good pair of shoes and you know, come go to your shoemaker, fix it, get your heels, soles, and get it done. Now it's just you know they're gone and just replace them. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that much money anymore. I don't think people know about shoemakers. If you ask one of these kids, they don't really don't know about it. it shows you how, uh, how how things have changed. You know, unfortunately, it's, it looks like, like how tradition has changed. Years ago, you know, the kids would, would say, you know, break it to the shoemaker, do this, we'll get them fixed, or get your Sunday best on, make sure your shoes are correct, make sure your shoes are shined, you had shoelaces and everything. People don't really, really don't do that. Now, there is no shoemaker. There's just, there's not, it's not, almost non-existent.
My family feels that it's time I should retire. I've been working almost all my life and, and I provide whatever was necessary for them. They think it's time for me to retire. Louis, I see you've got me in trouble here. Check. That's checkmate. checkmate. You got me again. When I retire, we're going to have a more time to play this yep. game. Cuando la vida se pierda tras una cortina de años, cuando la vida se pierda tras una cortina de años, vivirá a flor de tiempo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Blow the candle. Blow. Wow. Yeah. Hello, Rosa Shuriper. Yes. We open every day from 8 to 6, except Sundays. <laughs>